they were shooting a couple of the most popular new uh, little pocket 380s. Got the Caltech P380, the Ruger LC, the new Car P380, and the North American Arms Guardian 380. I'll start with the uh, Caltech P380 here. Six round magazine. They're all actually six round magazine. Put in there. I'm going to shoot at the top left. On the Celtic. So you know you're out of box when you get uh, when you get nothing when you pull the trigger. Mm -hmm. Pretty well. Now we'll shoot the Ruger LCP, which is a very very similar design to the Caltech. Same width and design, pretty much very similar action. In this one, there is a slide lock, but it won't lock open on an empty magazine. It's just the facility locking it open. Shoot at the top right up here. Frame up there and they jump feet. The guards can't find it. They jump them over with two shots. Well, we Doug tried that. There's no sense of... Take the mag out. Clear. Now we're going to shoot the new Car P380, which handles a little differently than the Caltechs. These are both the same. The Caltech and the Ruger are very thin, and different. the car is equally thin, but has a little bit more substantial grip and feels more like shooting a Glock or something. The bottom left target. And of course it locks open so uh, much quicker magazine it's like on a real It's kind of a neat feature for a little pocket gun like that. <laughs> Just got done shooting the comparison of the RP380, the Ruger LCP. Uh, now I'm going to shoot it with uh, some 90 grain Winchester silver tip ammo. We just shot some full metal jacket Winchester reloads in. Uh, again, I think I'll start down here with the Celtic. Six rounds of Winchester silver tip 380. I don't have any new targets. I don't know. You might shoot at the black areas in between the targets. I'll you know, like shoot the, the white line, the white line, the white line, the yeah, white line. Yeah, the white line and the black. That's at the north, the 12, 12, 3, 6, and... Alright, here we go with the Kel-Tec. Yeah. 12 o'clock. Put it back into the... Yeah. So one thing... Uh, about the Caltech, it's a pretty decent trigger. I can shoot it pretty well. I've been carrying Caltech since the last eight, nine years, something like that. Um, but the sights are very small and low profile, so they don't snag. There's not a whole lot to pick up there, but obviously the gun is a pretty capable gun. You can make do with it. And so next is Ruger. A little bit, tad bit more substantial of a sight. Just a little bit more to reference but it's still very snag free and hard to kind of pick up as a equally as good trigger. one thing I do like is the recessed mag release as opposed to the Caltech where it's recessed it's just recessed enough that it just prevents it from pressure on the side of it That's a little bit of a feature I like now we'll go at 3 o'clock here
little bit more fun. The full metal jacket. I'm um, shooting the Winchester silver tip all Again, I'm pretty comfortable with the Ruger LCP. I've owned one of these for the last year or so. Um, very happy with the trigger, the sights. Uh, the car, which is the new kid on the block here, I'm really digging because it's got a very nice trigger. has dovetailed front and rear sights so you can change them if you want. It has a real nice actual square notches that are easy to pick up. Um, you have a distinctive actual front sight as opposed to just a little bit of a nub. It actually sticks up and gives you a sight picture. Um, so here we go with the 90 grain silver tip in the in the uh, car. I just noticed that the mag release is not recessed on on the car. We'll have to see how that works with pocket carry and everything. Again, it's new. I haven't really had a chance to carry it, but it's a little bit a little bit dry and a little bit tight for new gun here. But it's quality. I'm going to shoot at. Uh, Nine o'clock there. I don't know. It must have been. It sounded like a squib. It sounds like one of my When I was working Saturday, I didn't walk open that time, but I was riding the slide with my hands. I was uh, riding it, so I didn't allow the slide lock to engage. Man, the felt recoil on that is definitely much more comfortable than on the, the kel and the Ruger. Again, I'm, I'm accustomed to them, so it's not bad for me, but the felt recoil was definitely noticeably different. The muzzle rise was much less. I put all the rounds right where I was looking. Um, very, very pleased with the sights, the trigger. I had a longer grip, just the shootability overall is impressive. Shooting the new car P380. I'm gonna shoot. We got six rounds in the magazine here. We're gonna shoot half of them strong hand only, half of them support hand only. So here we go, support hand. Two strong hands. Yeah, those blocks are different. They're different looking. I think I tend to really ride, ride the slide stop. That's where I normally throw my thumb. I'm a Glock shooter. Uh, shoot double action J-frame revolvers and, and pretty much root LCP and Keltex. So I tend to have my thumb resting here, which I rest it right on the edge of the slide stop so it doesn't lock open. It's very comfortable, man. I can't get over how impressed I am with that gun. Shooting a, a new car P380.